Anyhow, given the games we have now, it's time to spin, baby, spin! Mario Kart 8 Deluxe! Alright! Alright! I'm game for that. I love Mario Kart 8. We're going to be doing some online lobbies just to see how good we are against the uh, people online. Because fun fact, folks, I've actually never played this online outside of in friend groups. So regular online, never done. That's going to be an interesting uh, treat, I suppose. All right, so here's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's an awesome game, and it's still getting DLC to this uh, <laughs> to this day. The last DLC set's set to be in, I think, December. I've already gotten the first the gold trophies and I think free stars on every cup single player, so it only really makes sense for me to do online play for game roulette. All right, um. Yeah, we'll do worldwide. I have no problem with that. Oh, I guess I have done a little worldwide. I guess it's regional, I think, that I haven't done. Sure, we'll do that. I'm going to be in the ultimate cart combo. Which, by the way, is the one and only Standio. If you're not playing Standio, then what are you even doing? <laughs> I'm sp So I'm spectating to begin with. But then we get to actually play, and hopefully we'll be able to vote for good courses. Oh boy, we got crisp. Oh hey, it's actually pairing me up with people that are roughly my online ranking. Well, if... <laughs> if everybody really is about this level, skill level relative to their ranking, and not just they haven't played online before like me, I should probably be trouncing everybody, because... I've been playing Mario Kart 8 since it was Mario Kart 8. Oh no, they're playing play Paris Promenade! It's one of my favorites. That's okay. Uh, who's Brian? Brian is playing as Koopa Troopa in the... Oh, Monster Truck Teddy Bear. That's pretty cool. That, that guy's also Monster Truck Teddy Bear. That guy's on some kind of a bike. Uh, we got Yoshi. Luigi, that's an interesting combo. Waluigi, Bittery Buggy, and uh, uh, Roller Tires. Carl from Canada is doing pretty well. He's Daisy on the uh, Ink Rider. Japan. We got quite a few people from Mexico right now, too. That's kind of cool. Um, I want to see Carl from Canada. I want to see how he races. Yeah, I've been playing Mario Kart 8 ever since it was Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. I played it like crazy, and then I also played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe like crazy, so I'm pretty good at the game. I'm not going to suggest I'm one of the best by any means. I'm not, I am not. I don't try hard it. I'm not like, I'm only Yoshi, Teddy Bear, Azure Roller Tires, Optimal Combo. Like, no. I, that's not me. I play what I have fun with. Oh, Carl's doing pretty decently. Oh, he's got the super horn. Oh. Why did you... I'm Why the heck did Carl use the super horn there? I get that you had a red shell and you wanted to use it, but you still have a whole no another lap. There might well be a blue shell. Actually, oh wait. If I'm only playing with human players... There's probably going to be way fewer lightnings and blue shells compared to when you play with CPUs. Because CPUs get power-ups at a completely different rate. Like, their power-up roulette is totally different from human power-up roulette. So they generally get weird items more. Yeah, this is, this is fun for sure. It'll be even more fun when I'm actually playing. Oh no. Carl from Canada, no. Who's in first? It's Brero. Some... <laughs> Sombrero from Sombrero from Mexico is in first place. He's, he's Larry on what bike is that? I think that's just the standard, actually. That looks like the standard. Oh no, he got hit by a red shell. Oh, that's oh and a blue. Sh that freaking sucks. He got Mario Karted so hard at the end there. Oh, I'm sorry, some Sombrero. Okay, uh, between... Definitely Sunshine Airport. 
Oh, we're getting a pretty full lobby here. So, yeah, in, in these online lobbies, if it's not a friend lobby, it gives you three completely random courses to choose from, or you can pick random. I'll give it my best shot. I'm using tilt controls, even though I'm not. <laughs> I'm using tilt controls! You're using tilt controls? That's so cool! I'm using tilt controls! <laughs> not really. Actually, I want to make sure... Okay, good. Auto auto drive is not turned on. Or s smart steering, as they call it. Oh my gosh. There, there's a girl in our lobby that has crazy eyes. It's the lady in the red in the back. If she turns around, you're going to see... It looks like she drank, like, five espressos. And is also very infatuated with a boy. Yes! The airport! Yeah, well, it's an, it's an online lobby, Mobius, that's why. So I'm the highest ranking person here, which is funny, because I've literally only played online, I think, once, and I don't even remember it. All right. Here's how we do it. It's a me, Standio. Uh oh, a lot of latency. Okay. This is generally a front running track, so that's what we're going to try to do get an early lead. So if you're wondering why I'm not using the coins here, it's because in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you cannot have a coin in both power up slots. Unless there's a lot of latency. So I held on to the coin until I touched the next power-up to make sure the next power-up I got was not also a coin. This way, I have a green shell for protection in case somebody tries chucking red shells at me. There we go. Gliding's actually slightly slower than being on land, so I landed as soon as possible. Also, continually trying to look backwards. That was a bad jump. In Mario Kart, you definitely want to look backwards a lot. That way you can see if there's, like, a shell coming your way or not. And as you can see, if you look at the minimap, I've got a big lead. If with all human players, that's a pretty big lead right there. That also means because I have a big lead, the people behind me are going to start getting better power-ups. Okay, so I'm going to hit... There we go. Ditch the coin so I can get a double power-up. I'm going to hold on to the coin now. That way, if someone gets a boo, they'll steal the coin and not the banana peel, and I'll still have protection from red gels. Uh-oh. That can't happen, though. But that's okay. We still have a big lead. Aha! And that banana peel hit the crate, so it didn't hit us. Fantastic. I'm also not actually getting the trick jumps there, because sometimes those turns can be a bit tight, and if you get the trick jump, you might end up hitting the wall. Didn't want that to happen. So unless we get un really unlucky with, like, a blue shell or someone gets, like, triple reds, we probably have this in the bag. Blooper, what are you doing here? Nothing bad happened to me. And there we go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mobius, I'm telling you, Standio is a legitimately really good card combo. It's certainly not the best, but, like, it has solid stats in every category. And if you're still learning the ins and outs of the game, it is a fantastic, it's a fantastic combo to learn off of. Because it's not bad at, any, at, at anything, really. Oh, poor Waluigi. Poor Wyatt. <laughs> oh, that's that's fun. Yes, coins increase your top speed. You can only carry up to 10. So you want to have as many coins as possible. Yeah, that was pretty great. Vancouver, Royal Raceway, or Amsterdam? Um, Honestly, they're all solid choices. I'm going to go Royal Raceway, though. Hey, Shaggy, how's it going? Well, part of it, Shaggy, is this is my second time playing in Worldwide Online, so my actual online ranking is really low. So I'm, I don't want to say I'm playing a bunch of scrubs, but there's a clear skill gap between me and the others in the lobby. 
That's that's how it's going. <laughs> wow, no one picked Amsterdam yet. Amsterdam's not a bad course. It's just it kind of blurs together with a lot of the other. Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Generic female me picked it. Considering how many courses are in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I like almost all of them. There's only a small handful of stinkers. Like, Baby Park. <laughs> Carl, that kills people. Oh, but no, we're going up against Stove. Although, I gotta admit, they released the latest... They, they announced all the courses in the new, the final DLC pack. I'm not impressed. I'm excited for DK Mountain, but that's literally it. DK Mountain's the best Mario Kart course ever made, so I'm super hyped for that. But then they also put in the worst Mario Kart course ever made, so I'm not hyped for that. For those of you who are wondering, the worst Mario Kart course ever made is Wii Rainbow Road. But hopefully they'll fix it in 8 Deluxe. All they really have to do is fix the, uh, the Matrix jump. And then it'll be passable. Alright, 10 coins already. Okay, Birdo, are you going to toss that banana, or aren't you? Ah! That's why I didn't use the coin! Some, some poor schmuck stole a coin, which is a very bad power-up to steal. And I still had the green shell. Darn, didn't get the second power-up boost. Okay, are you holding a red shell or a super horn? Oh, this is great. This is great. In first place with 10 coins and two power-ups that can block. That's fantastic. So now unless they throw a blue shell at me, we're good. Or if a lightning happens, but lightnings are really rare in all human lobbies. This definitely is Royal Raceway, yes. Oh no. Oh, oh, let's see if I can pull this up. Oh no! <laughs> I tried to do a very advanced maneuver there where I intentionally hit something else other than the blue shell, so that way the blue shell won't actually affect me. But the blue shell hit the piranha plant out of the way before I could hit it. And, oh, look, is that Shaggy in first place? Pfft, there's the latency! I wasn't even near the red shell, but I still got hit by it. Gotta love it. Oh, it's a super horn. I'm not gonna use it on Carl. I'm gonna use it on first place when I catch up. Actually, no, I'm not. Curse, it's Peter Pan! I think Peter Pan has something. Oh, it's just a coin, actually. Lost that Peter Pan! <laughs> Double red shells? Oh, yeah. That's, that's game. <gasps> oh, that was good! That was good! But not quite. <laughs> yeah. I remember in the N64 version, my siblings and I were convinced you could open the doors to Peach Ca Peach's Castle and it would be a shortcut. It, it's, it's not true. Oh, wow. I Mad respect to the Rosalina player with the golden Wii wheel next to her, because that means she uses tilt controls about 80% of the time. <laughs> At least. Okay, uh, well, this is easy. The only decent one. <laughs> Everybody! <laughs> if people pick random, that generally means that they... They only... They hated all the options. <laughs> I'm excited! <laughs> I, be I bet you people in the lobby hate me now. <laughs> I, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Oh, never mind. Carl's a very good sport. Oh. Who... <laughs> is, is that Judy Jetson after she went to college and got addicted to caffeine? I think it might be. <laughs> okay, good. It's not Koopa Cape. It's random. Oh, come on! <laughs> this is one of the only bad courses. Bone, Bone Dry Dune sucks. Well, I might lose on this one. I don't have a lot of practice on it, but we'll do our best.
This course is just, it's very... Blah. It's like... The turns are kind of unfair on this course, and the feet... It's just the colors are very, like, dreary. Music's pretty good, though. Yeah. This is a course that you kind of need brake drifting, especially with the sand physics. Okay, cool. I made that turn. Like, there are some jank turns even here in 150cc, let alone 200. Yoink! Oh, sorry, Black Yoshi. Wow, look at the- okay, never mind, look at that breakaway I have. Nobody's used to playing on this course. I'm- again, I'm gonna hold on to the coin. Let them steal it. Let them steal the boo. There! See? Told ya! Oh shoot, did not mean to drop the banana peel there, actually. Well, maybe that'll catch someone out. Oh, that was bad. I'm okay, though. I'm okay. Boing! Wow! Look at the breakaway I have. Oh, the second placer had a bullet bill. That's how crazy my lead was. No, that's okay. You want to pass me, bullet bill? That's the advanced tech. Throw a banana peel forwards and slip on it so you get hit by that instead of the blue shell. You still get hit, but getting hit by the banana peel makes you lose way less speed than getting hit by the blue shell. All this and more if you take Artie's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, Boot Camp. Uh-oh. Oh! Couldn't get the banana peel out in time. I can live with that. Second place or lost their power-ups, too. Which means if I don't screw up, I believe victory is mine. Good job, Carl. You almost caught up. <laughs> yeah, I mean... That's that's the that's the dumb thing of Mario Kart 8. Instead of just being like what place you're in determines your power, it's how far you are from the first placer, which means second place can get bullet bills. I did not have a big enough lead that second place should have gotten a bullet bill. I don't think. <laughs> Again, these strats are the result of like ten years of playing Mario Kart 8. So there, there's a lot of advanced tech. Oh, definitely Maple Treeway. Definitely Maple Treeway. Why is everyone picking Koopa Vape? Why is everyone picking Koopa Vape? That's that's the other reason I hate blue shells. Blue shells just unfairly target the first person, and it sucks to be the one to get the blue shell, because it doesn't benefit you at all. Unless you get it in second, which you won't. Like, you get the blue shell when you're in 11th, and really need, like, a bullet bill or a gold mushroom, and you're like, great! So now I just have to spite the first blazer. Will anyone pick Dolphin Shoals? No, no one picked Dolphin Shoals. I respect it. Dolphin Shoals isn't that great. Oh, it's Koopa Cape. I mean, Koopa Vape. I probably just need to get better at this course, because it's one of the newest ones. But, man, this, this course is very disappointing. It got the Waluigi Stadium treatment, where they put, like, all the power-ups and the coins in, like, out-of-the-way places. You were right. I think they should bring the blue shell back to the way it was in Mario Kart 64, where it didn't really unfairly target the first placer. It kind of targeted everybody. And if you got hit by it, it wasn't any more of a big deal than getting hit by a red shell. It was also extremely rare. Yeah, you're definitely going to notice that, like, my racing on this course is going to be noticeably worse than on the other ones. 
And that's because I don't know the optimal route for the level. Although I still got that nice breakaway. I'll take it. Yoink! I'd rather have a protective power-up in my second slot than in my first slot. At least, if I have to have a coin, it is my other power-up. Like I said, th there's definitely a skill gap in the lobby, and that when you're when you're in the lobbies that are roughly the ranking that everyone starts out as as the default, you're gonna get players like this, where it's like, oh, they're clearly really good at the game, but they just haven't really played online yet to boost their ranking. I feel a little bad for this, <laughs> but it's okay. Eventually, I'll have to leave and play another roulette game. Oh no, not my two dollars. Yeah, look at the brim. Well, actually, okay. I'm like one turn ahead. Grab the double power up to get some protection. Oh, super horn and look on the map. It's the most satisfying thing in Mario Kart 8. Destroying the blue shell. I tell you, Mario Kart just doesn't get any better than that. Yoink! Okay. Alright. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Koopa Cape is pretty good. Um, disagree. <laughs> Definitely disagree. In Mario Kart Wii, it was okay. But they kind of ruined it in this one. Again, we're like, if you want the coins and the power-ups, you kind of have to, like, drive on the half-pipes, which is a lot slower. I'm not, I'm not a fan. But I, I don't hate it. I just don't particularly... In the grand scheme of courses, because there's like an absurd amount of courses in this game, I'm not wasting my picks on Koopa Cape. Unless the other choices are even worse. <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> we have literally the two most garbage courses in the whole game, and then Excite Bike Arena. Ice Ice, Baby Park, and Adult Park. I'll pick Adult Park. Mad respect to the people who pick random as well. Who's that guy with the smirk on his face and the bushy hair who picked Baby Park? I don't respect that. Who's that Carlos? I respect the randoms. I do not respect Baby Park or Ice Ice. <laughs> Okay, Ooh, it's ice ice. <sighs> Darn it. Good night, Eddie. Thanks for joining in. Ice ice is my least favorite course in the game. It's so boring. Also, there are not enough power-ups, and red shells don't really work on this level. Yeah, Shaggy, we definitely got... The, we can't, It's not the trifecta of terribleness, because I think Adult Park is at least solid, but the other two are... These, these courses are garbage. It's like, what if the gimmick was there were two roads? That's it. No, like, literally, that is it. And the last power-up set is, like, way before the finish line, so if you don't get a good set from there, you're kind of hosed. Oh, no, I didn't make the shortcut. Shoot. Yeah, this is the last power-up set. And we still have a pretty solid way. Oh, that was bad. Oh no, not the boomerang. Oh really? There are two people with boomerangs. There's also a shocking lack of coins on this level too. Like that are just lying out on the course to be picked up. Which means if you're down low on coins, well, do a tough lock. Ah, oh, darn it. I wanted those. 
Normally I try to take the shortcut, but I'd rather get the double power-ups if I'm this far behind. Hi, Brian. Sorry, Yoshi. <laughs> okay. I will let Waluigi keep that uh, red shell for a bit. Okay. Here we are. Now we're catching back up. Master Yoda! Oh, no wonder he's in first place. BLAST THAT PEACHA PAN! I'm not gonna go for the shortcut. I'm not confident enough to get it, and I will be very far behind if I miss it. Got him! Uh-oh. Gotta watch out for the bomb. Take that, you Master Yoda! Yes, I hit Master Yoda! <laughs> Alright, a perfect win streak thus far. That's pretty good. I like that. I definitely like that. <laughs> Master Yoda still got second, though, even though I backed him with a red. Good job. Standio, here we go. Off on an adventure. Wahoo! Uh, okay. I like all three of these. I'll go with Hyrule, though. Oh my gosh, we got identical twins here. They've got to be playing on the same uh, the same system. We'll know if their vote comes in at the exact same time. Yep, yep. That's cool. I, I like seeing people who are playing on the same system online together. That's always fun. Also, the man who chose Baby Park left. <laughs> so we can't catch him anymore. <laughs> All right, now now people are voting for Amsterdam. I was the only one who voted for a high rule, really. That surprises me. Guess we're going to Amsterdam. That's cool. I like Amsterdam. This this is the course with the tulips that I always fail to see because a blooper always hits me right before that part. <laughs> Oh, wow. Master Yoda, are you tryharding it on the Yoshi Teddy Bear Roller Tiger combo? He sure is. We also have some old tryhards who are Waluigi Wiggler, but that's not the tryhard combo anymore. <laughs> Everyone knows Standio is the tryhard. <laughs> I'm glad Pan is still in the lobby. It's it's nice seeing the f some faces here that are like stick around. It makes it makes lobbies more interesting, more drama, higher stakes, and all that. Peter Pan, you've got a freaking red shell. Oh, okay, never had that happen before. <laughs> I think it may have all... Uh-oh. Oh, no! I failed! The current blew me out of the way of the banana peel. Oh, this is a pretty good power-up to get. I'll get you, Peter Pan! <laughs> Oh, I can't believe my red shells didn't hit me. That usually always happens. Which is why I rarely throw green shells forwards. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this. Uh-oh, I see that. Yes! Thank you for hitting me with the red shell! <laughs> that protected me from the blue shell. <laughs> Here's the tulip garden I always miss.
yoink. This should give him the slip. <laughs> Look at the tryhard, exactly. <laughs> wow, three blue shells in one race. All right, what is this, Mario Kart Wii? <laughs> oh, Master Yoda in the tryhard mobile just got second place. Oh, pink porks, I am sorry. Pink Porks, I would love for you to take the Colorful Artie Mario Kart 8 Boom Camp course. Teach you everything you need to know. Um, well, there's only one choice here. <laughs> N64 Rainbow is not awful, but it's, it's just it should be two laps, not one. And I think this will have to be the last race before we spin another roulette. So if people have roulette requests, make sure you get them in during this race. Otherwise, they will probably not be added before spinning the next time. Wow! I don't even remember what the third option was, but nobody picked it. Which is good, because it was the worst out of the options. <gasps> they picked my choice! Yoshi Valley! Yoshi! Yes, Peter Pan's still here. I, 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 I hope Peter Pan does very well. <laughs> I hope he gets second. And I get first. Let's -a go! As far as I can tell, I believe this is the fastest way for the maze. Uh oh, we might get hit by Pan here. <gasps> oh, now this is a powerful combo of power ups for first place. Bring me Pan! <laughs> that's what that's what Captain Hook always asks always says when people ask him what type of pizza he wants. Bring me Pan Pizza. <laughs> I don't need power ups, I I'm just I'm good enough without them. You get like, a, such a mix of people online. Some people online are like pretty, pretty good, and then some people are like, "Wait, there's a there's a way to drift in this game." They like just genuinely don't know how to mini turbo. Oh, that's okay. Look at the lead I have. Oh, and here's Blooper to laugh in my face because something bad happened. Love you, Blooper. Yoink! Oh my gosh! Look at the lead! It's absurd. Everyone, take a look at the route I'm going for the maze. Follow me. <laughs> Everyone will be happy to have me out of the lobby. It's not, it's not personal, but I, I get it. My, my rating is not indicative of my skill level. And that sucks when that happens. This should give him the slip. I've gotten a shockingly high amount of bob bombs in first place, by the way. There we go! <laughs> I used to use the N64 short path. And then I realized it wasn't the shortest path anymore. Also, why did they remove the porcupines from Yoshi Valley? That was, like, a big part of Yoshi Valley in the N64 one. Oh yeah, that that's a nice boost to the rating. 
All right. Well, it, well it's been the fun, everybody. <laughs> it was great getting that ego boost in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> but I think it's time to let other people win. And I will leave the group. And I'm going to add Pan as a friend. No, no, just kidding. That, that would maybe be a little weird. <laughs> Shoutouts to Pan. You, you made it very enjoyable. Maybe he'll catch this <laughs> later on. He, like, tunes into the stream. He's like, wait, that guy was streaming? What? <laughs> that, would, that would be kind of funny. He, he, he leaves a comment on the video. What? <laughs>